Hey guys, how's it going Apex here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and use EPSXE, which is a PlayStation 1 emulator for PCs. So to start off, you're going to want to visit the first link in the description, which will take you to the official download page of EPSXE. From there, you're going to want to scroll down a little bit and download version 1.9, as I found that to be the most reliable version. And so once you've downloaded the zip file from there, you're going to want to go to your downloads folder and find EPSXE190 and open up that zip file and then for the sake of organization I'm going to create a separate folder to extract all of these files and folders to. I've, as you can see I've already created that folder I'm actually going to delete all of the old files first and so take all of these files and folders and extract them over to this new folder and then here at the bottom you'll see that there is an application file you're going to want to run that and you want to click on config here wizard guide config again and it will show that the PSX BIOS was not able to be found and so to fix that you're going to want to visit the second link in the description and that will take you to the BIOS's download page And if I go back to my downloads page a folder you'll see that it is SCPH 1001 so open up that zip file and you'll have a bin file up here and then go back to your PS1 emulator folder go to BIOS delete this erase.me file and then take this bin file and simply extract it now if you go back to the emulator back to config and wizard guide config and now you'll see that there is a recommended BIOS and now if you click on next it will say that I wasn't able to find a GPU plugin so for that you're going to want to visit the third link which will take you to the download page of uh, Pete's GPU plugins and this is what it will look like GPU it'll start with and open up this zip file and then find the .dll file which will be the first one go back to your PS1 emulator folder go back go to your plugins folder first off delete this remove.me file and then take the DLL file and extract it into there now go back to the emulator go back to config run wizard guide again config next and now you'll see that Pete's OpenGL 2 driver 2.9 version will be an option so click on next 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 and here you can set up a controller but I'll do that at a different time done and so we've got the emulator itself set up so to actually run the games that we want to play you're going you're going to actually need to download the bin or iso file for the game so for me I want to play NHL 2001 so I can go to a website like uh, muparadise.me and download the iso or bin file from there so I've actually already done that I've got it here in and it is a zip file which you open up to find a bin file and I've actually already extracted it to my computer and once you have that here you can right click open with choose another app and then you'll find that EPSXE is an option and then if you open it up you'll find that your game is running fine. If you did find the video helpful please consider hitting the like button. You can also hit the subscribe button if you want, if you want to stay tuned for more high quality tech content as I upload one to two videos a week with a guarantee to upload every Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.